All right, guys, next up, you guys both have a pick on the same game here, in fact, Virginia <laughs> and Notre Dame, one of the more interesting games also of the weekend. So let's uh, let's have you guys both take this uh, uh, this one uh, first. Let's go to – let's go with the side. I want to go with the side first. Ari, you've got the side. Dan's got to play on the total. So first, Ari, take us through uh, your pick on the side and why you like that particular play. So if you look at uh, total offensive uh, points per game nationally uh, – I think Virginia is number 11 overall. I mean, they're averaging 38.9 points a game and, you know, they're a very efficient offense. And I know that there are some people who are a little bit afraid of Brennan Armstrong's availability because of that rib injury that he suffered last time out. Uh, But the anticipation is that he's going to be available and playing in this game. I think Virginia is a very good football team and above average team. And I know that, you know, there are three losses I think are all understandable too. Uh, on the road at North Carolina, who you all know, I love, Love him. <laughs> Wake Forest, who, you know, up until last week was undefeated and then on the road at BYU. And I know their defense has uh, at times been problematic, which is probably going to be a nice segue into Dan's play. Uh, <laughs> but I'm not necessarily sure that I'm a believer in Notre Dame being a top 10 team this year. I know that they've only lost one time, and the team that they lost to is in the top six of the college football playoff poll. But Notre Dame, to me, I think is a average version of itself. And going on the road against a team that can put up 40 points pretty regularly – um, I think, you know, again, we're in that no man's land of five and a half. Uh, you're basically laying a touchdown there. I believe that Virginia has a chance to maybe win this game outright, but if not, they're going to put up enough points to cover the five and a half. Yeah. Like you said, the shootout possibility here really excites me. That BYU game, I think the, the when they put up a ton of points in the first two or three quarters, I think the, the live total at one point was like 120 or something ridiculous. <laughs> it was just, they couldn't stop scoring. Um, so, yeah, I think this is why, because we've talked about some high totals on this show before, and this one's only at 64, 64 and a half. Uh, and I, I don't think that's a big enough number, really. All right, you said Virginia's offense actually lead the country in yards per game at uh, almost 550 a game. Uh, and then their defense allows the ninth most yards per game. So <laughs> this team is like this, like Ole Miss has been getting those high totals, and I think it actually should be on Virginia. Uh, you know, the only games that have gone under for them are when they've blown out teams like Illinois or Duke or something. And I don't think they're going to blow out Notre Dame. I don't think we're worried about that possibility where it's like a 40 to seven or something. We've seen them do in a few games. So yeah, over here, um, I, I just think uh, it could be really, really high. Notre Dame, this is their toughest game left in their schedule. If Notre Dame is going to make any sort of push towards if not the playoff, then a New Year's Six Bowl. Like they have to be fired up for this one. Is why I'm leaning towards the the total instead of the side. But I, I'm with you on Virginia in the over. 60th in total defense, uh, giving up almost 400 yards a game this year. So, you know, I I like the ability here on the road for Virginia. I mean, that Notre Dame's on the road for Virginia to put up some points here. I I sometimes. I understand a lot of times like trying to safeguard yourself by going on overs and unders in these situations. Mm-hmm. Uh, but sometimes I also feel like these over and under, it's just a complete crap shoot in this weird <laughs> sport that we love college football. Mm-hmm. I mean, the, the over this game, I mean, the total could get up to a hundred points or it could be a 28 to 24 game. Cause it's just like, you know, Notre Dame and whatever, they it kind of mucks things up a little bit, but I like both sides. I'm probably going to play them. Dan can't lose. So that means I'm going to help. <laughs> Them and bring them back down to earth. <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, like I, I was going to ask, uh, I was going to ask too, Dan. When, but you brought it up yourself that you also don't love the side, but you lean Virginia. And if you're going to be yeah. playing an over sixty four and a half, uh, not the craziest total for a college game, but if you're right. going to be playing an over, you like it being a close game. You like both teams having to go back and forth, and no one really being able to just you know sit back and say, "All right, we've got this one figured out." So. Definitely like the fact that uh, this could be a close one. Virginia plus five and a half and this game going over the 64 and a half. 